Xpeng have just unveiled their new electric van or sort of like large van SUV crossover thing. It's basically a van, but it's the coolest looking van I've ever seen. In fact, it's so cool, I'm going to call it not a van. The not a van from Xpeng. No, I'm serious. It's actually really, really impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And Xpeng, wow, what a reversal in their fortunes. Basically bailed out by the Volkswagen Group. Who would have thought? Sort of like two companies that need each other. They're both in a bit of need. And well, it seems to be working out. Xpeng has had a little bit of a reversal in its fortunes, not only in terms of the investment from the Volkswagen Group in the company, but also in terms of its sales in the past few months, which have had a nice little resurgence for them after a shocking fall for around six straight months in a row. And then they came and revealed this. Now, whoever designed this van for Xpeng, the proportions are absolutely spot on. That's why I think they've done a phenomenal job. That raked windscreen, the design of this thing, it's really such, it's so difficult to make a van look good and they've definitely succeeded. Now, this thing has 500 horsepower and it looks really good and Xpeng make great vehicles. Now I sure as hell hope that they don't just sell these in China, that they sell them elsewhere because other people deserve to enjoy having a van. I mean, if you went and had five, six kids and maybe you didn't mean to do that, maybe you had two and then you had twins or triplets on your third kid. You just thought, we're going to have three and it didn't work out. I know people that have had that happen to them. In fact, I warned them that it would and it did. Anyway, that's another story. So that could happen to you. And then all of a sudden you realize you need a seven seat vehicle and then life becomes tough. Not that easy. People mock you. They laugh at you. Now they don't really, but it's sort of can feel that way a bit. I grew up as in a family of five children. There was three girls, two boys, and we got around in a Volkswagen Combi. A Volkswagen Combi from, I think it was the 80s, the early 80s, late 70s. I hated it. Anyway, hopefully my dad isn't watching this video because he might, um, he probably thought it was pretty cool. Man. I guess these days they are cool, but back then they weren't cool. Anyway, this is cool. The Xpeng X9 is a new multi-purpose vehicle. They're calling them MPVs. I think it sounds worse than van if you call it MPV, but anyway. And this thing, like I said, has just been officially revealed. We've seen it in camo, but I didn't report on it back then because I couldn't see what it really looked like. And now we really can. Now the back of the van, I'm not so sold on. The side profile, the front, look great. The back, bit odd. Maybe it's because it doesn't have a number plate. Anyway, this is a very big vehicle. It's actually 5.3 meters long. It's basically as long as uh, Toyota Hilux, for example. And its dimensions in terms of its wheelbase show just how much space this thing has inside. It's 1,988 millimeters wide, 1,785 millimeters tall, and that wheelbase is 3,160 millimeters. It'll have three rows, of course, six or seven seats. So if you want the six seat version that's more when you have a two two so two captain's chairs two captain's chairs and you know it's very luxurious people in china love that kind of experience and i think it would be quite a nice car to be in imagine it silent lots of power very very nice to ride in i think anyway what's the battery pack how much power does it have well the cheaper version the single motor version is actually front motor which is unusual. Front motor version has 235 kilowatts, so a bit about 300 horsepower, and it comes with an LFP battery from an unusual supplier, Eve Energy. Eve Energy is one of the smaller battery suppliers in China, actually pretty big on a global scale, but in China, they're a pretty small player. The dual motor version has 235 kilowatt front motor and a 135 kilowatt rear motor. Very unusual. This is one of the very few cars in the world to have a less powerful motor in the rear than the front. Many, it has a total of 370 kilowatt. That's exactly 496 horsepower. Round that up, we're looking at a 500 horsepower MPV. That's, that's pretty cool. Who would have thought we'd say that? Crazy. CALB supplies the battery. And this is a more expensive nickel manganese cobalt NMC chemistry. It will have a higher energy density. And therefore, apparently, this new van will have quite a lot of range. People are saying possibly more than 600 kilometers of range for a vehicle this size. Now, keep in mind, CALB are also the company that apparently have been working on ultra high energy density batteries. So that may be in this car as well. We learned a few days ago that Xpeng will be selling their electric cars in Germany to compete against the Volkswagen Group, who own 5% of the company now. 
So that's an intriguing development there. How will Xplan go in Germany? Because of course, I'm a more known brand as a result of the Volkswagen Group investing in them. And then they'll be rivaling against the Volkswagen Group for EV sales. This will be interesting. By the way, I'm hoping that this vehicle will be sold outside of China. And the reason is, I mean, who else is making impressive electric vans, MPVs? Pretty much no one is doing it. Now, on the same day this was revealed, LDV revealed their new Deliver 9 electric van. And in fact, they've got a couple of different electric vans, which are much better than their old versions, and they look really, really impressive. So there'll be a, quite a few different electric vans coming from China that you can choose from if you're in this market within the next 24 months. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.